updates is the day we've been waiting for. 0 0.43 cursor updates brings in agent uh, agents, which can actually uh, read the full project content automatically, uh, run terminal commands, and a few other things. So let's just test it out. Here I opened my uh, image generation app, uh, Flux Plotter. It actually looks like this. You can select art styles and things and just generate either with Flux Chanel or Flux 1.1 Pro. Pretty cool app. You can actually download this from my Patreon. But now with the agents, now that we have our own composer open, we can come to this bottom right and click on this toggle to select the agent. And then we can ask, what is this project about? Without signing any files as context or anything like that, and it says, let me search through the code base. And it actually reads through the code base. And it says, based on the code base, this is a web application called Echo High Flux Explorer. And it goes on to explain, even understands the models that we are using together API. So it gets pretty much everything correct. So this is its uh, number one superpower. And then we can actually ask it to modify now the files. For example, uh, write a summary of this to summary.txt, let's say. Uh, we could have also asked anything. I just don't want to modify this project. And it's now generating summary.txt, which should be ready for us. There we go. We have the summary. We can accept it. Once it has generated now, you can actually go up and see if this file was applied successfully. You also have options to copy, reapply, to reject, and to accept, and to accept everything down here. And if you look right here, you can actually expand this and see all the files that was worked on. Okay, so this is number one. And I can say, how can I actually, let's say, run, run this web app. Let's see what it does, because it can actually do uh, terminal commands. So let's see if it'll be able to do that. Okay, it wants to install the requirements. So it read through, it wants to install requirements. See this, you can actually run this command, but I'm gonna skip this because the requirements are already installed. And now it wants to run this. Actually, let me stop this and we run this command. Uh, now it's going to run it right here in this terminal. Or you can also pop out the terminal and it comes back out here. Which is lovely, actually. Uh, this is, I don't know if uh, Windsurf actually has this. So you can either run it uh, here or in the terminal. So this is really a great feature and it tells you where it's running. So these are, this is in a nutshell what uh, the new Composer agent is about. You can read your project, edit your project, and run terminal commands. It makes everything super smooth. Differences uh, between Windsurf. Cascade and uh, and this new composer is that uh, composer this in cursor it costs one credit per message versus in Windsurf uh, you are billed by per action for example for each file action each action that uh, Cascade takes including running terminal commands or reading through your files although Cascade offers uh, thousand credits per ten dollars. Cursor is 500 per um, 500, but each message is individually one credit. So I'm leaning heavily now again on Cursor. You can go ahead and accept this. Let's go ahead and let me show you something else like testing a step-by-step -step approach here. Let me go ahead and clear this. So here I have that Cursor rules file, which I've applied some general rules and step-by-step -step instructions. So essentially when you're building a project, Maybe the first question comes to mind, do I write the entire description for my project right away? Do I build iteratively? Do I use that cursor rules file or just chat with the composer or with the chat? What do I do? So essentially this, this actually brings everything together and offers you best of all worlds. Here, for example, we can specify general app rules. This is, you can give it some general information about your app, like such a single page HTML website, style with base UI, so on and so forth. And step one, if you're building a web page, can be, uh, for example, about the header. So I'd like to go from top to bottom and left to right. 
So in this case, there's only three sections, the header, the main section, and the footer. Uh, when, you, when you specify it like this, you don't even have to write all the steps. You can actually write, for example, deal with the header first, get it right, and then apply the next step or even modify step one, uh, and then actually run it again. So you can say stuff like implement step one only, for example, we can do that. Uh, actually, let's cancel this and switch to the agent and run it as an agent, not a regular composer, because all the uh, regular composer functionalities are there as well. But as you can see, it's not only implementing the step one, okay? So it's just going to create the uh, header. There we go. We can actually view this. Hopefully, the tech, yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, the text is not visible. So we can actually go back to our cursor and say that, make sure the text is different from the background. Let me make sure. Oh, it was actually writing the script.js. This actually worked. I apologize because we already had it. That's my bad. Yeah. Uh, the one, one thing is uh, it's not very clear when the new agent is done. I actually thought it was done right after index.html but it was working more because this blue uh, pops right away as soon as the first file is created versus in Composer, this would have popped um, after all files are created. I'll actually give feedback to Ian on X to hopefully get this fixed. But look, it just created, the beautiful part is it just created it, just a header. Now we can go ahead and here say, uh, implement step two, step uh, two and three, please. So we can actually, Work, work with it uh, bit by bit. I could have also said maybe implement step three. Actually, let's do that. Uh, implement step three. Let's, let's instead skip step two and say implement step three only. Uh, and let's see what happens. Okay. Actually, it understands it and it's going to... So this should allow us to skip the center piece about information on LLMs and just step, uh, skip to the step three. So the main idea is you can break down your app into different rule sets and also steps. And you can then specify, well, apply this step, this combination of steps maybe, apply step two and three, we could have said. So this makes everything super convenient. Here's our HTML. As you can see, this may give the impression that it's done, but we know that it is not. Just pay attention to that. Okay, now it's done. Let's preview it by scrolling this. Yeah, see, now only the header and the uh, uh, footer is done. So this gives great flexibility. Now, this is the only uh, workflow that I use. And if you are enjoying my videos, you can actually find more information or more videos at my website at coive.live. And I also um, can find and watch all the videos here. If you're a patron, you can download the source code for any one of them very conveniently. And uh, I also have a 1000x cursor course. If you're interested in building with AI code editors, this is a must have course. I pour everything I know into this course, uh, 28 chapters over 19 hours of content. Um, and if you go to my Patreon membership page, you'll see that I have three different tiers. If you become an AR connoisseur level, you get access to the cursor course, plus some exclusive perks, and uh, about 70-80% of the projects. With AI architect level, you get access to the cursor course, free usage of EchoHive apps, such as my Flux Plorer app, uh, which you can use online. Actually, I deployed this. But you get an access code to use it at a much higher uh, limits. Uh, also, ask me anything uh, weekly live meetings for architect levels. I also have AI Virtuoso one on one, currently discounted at 20% until the 29th. With this, you can talk with me one hour every month. And I also have AI Prodigy, which allows you to talk with me three hours every month. Check those out. Uh, anyway, I hope you found this useful. Uh, this step by step approach is very cool. I'm so excited about the composer. Hope to play with it more. We'll make more videos. Thank you for watching. Right now, listen to me. I've been trying to toad, and you know, like I like toading. The fact that I can code and make things happen, but how do I do it? I mean, fast with AI. I'd heard about it. It's easy. So, um, 
I came across Thousand X Cursor course. And that's great, you know, it just made everything super silky smooth. It just it just worked. I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, Thousand X, you're coding. 